Okay, so now I'm going to do the patching the USB port on Dell uh, Broadwell HD5500. Now, there's many ways that people do it on the internet, but this is the way I do it that I get all mine to work. If you look at the new one, especially for Broadwell, I mean DSDT, if we're looking for XHC, and if we go to the R Hub, and this is my DSDT has A and SP1 and SP2, right? But they don't show you what port and connectors. The EHC1 and EHC2 they do have. Oh, this is connector zero. And I think I made a mistake when I said this is 255 uh, in the previous. This is the connector, not the top one. FF means 255. The second row is actually the connector number. So what you need to do is to get the USB inject all that text from rehab man. And what we do is that we're going to put this one, we put this one, where is it? It's 13, okay? Well, I took it out already after I passed it, but you need to put USB inject all in the 1013 folder with all the other text. So when you boot it, so I'm going to do it now so you can see. After you boot this one with the USB inject all, and according to Rehab and it only works from El Capitan or newer. So if you have Yosemite, don't use it. So it's not going to work. So when you install with that, you will see more than what you have. XHC. So this one I'm going to see is totally 11 plus 4. So he inject all, and this is all he got. So you're going to look here now, you can see the USB connector HS01, SS02, 3, 4, 5, 6 is connector 0. 6 and 7 is connected 0. 8 is also connected 0. Look at the port here. The port here is number 8. So when we patch, we have to take these two into account. 9 is 3. 10 is 3. 11 is 3. SSP1 is connected 3. 3. Three, three. So when we open this up, USB host family text, show package content, content, plugin. Now there's two files in here, two text. EHC PCI, ESCI, that is for 2.0, and XHC PCI is the 3.0 so let's look at this one go to the info list so if you look here I have patched this is MacBook Air 7.2 this one I put all the ports except SSP1 and SSP2 so the one I patch will have the SSP2 or uh, 3 and two, 4 so look in here so where's my actual patch? Okay. So my actual patching, they get everything working. 2.0, because 2.0 is on the right hand side and 3.0 on the left hand side. I patch for all my uh, 5.2, 6.2, and 7.2. So let's look at this one. I patch all of them for all three of my uh, laptops. So look at this. You have to be XHC PCI. So we open this up, we have 7.2, MacBook Air. See this? I patch exactly 
as the USB inject all three three USB connected three so the port number should be the same going down if you don't have it just add them five six seven are all USB connect to zero eight is zero nine is three ten is three eleven is three SSP one is three 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 and three so this is port number F which means I have support count is also F see that one right here make sure that is the one if you check here EHC and here is FF but I have to follow I think I patched this one wrong but it's okay if you use if you look at the ESDT EHC1 okay so you look at ESC1 look at the hub all you care about is we have one PR0 right so PR0 is here PR01 port is 0 okay and you look at ESC2 alright so connect to 0 so as he said some connector may be disabled right so what we're going to do is that we go back here we go to USB e ESCI PCI dot cax this is the one show package content content so I'm going to fix this one now so we're going to go to MacBook Air 7.2 ESC1 okay Look at this port, PR01. I put 255, that is wrong because my machine said it's zero, so I better put, change it to zero. Port number one, I'm pretty sure it is, show value, right? So both of these now are zero, so it should be good. So I'll turn it S to save them. So I pass this one according to my DSDT because it didn't show up in here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, after I'm done with that, I will install this one using Kex Utility. And by the way, Make sure you rename the HSC to HSC instead of HSC1. Alright? Because it got to match. IO match. So make sure. See, these are HSC. Oh no, XHC. Okay? Not XSC1. We put this one in here so it's gonna one thing about Kex utility is that after it's installed for you in the extension they also updated the cache for you that's why I use this instead of Kex wizard when you plug in something into the USB 2.0 and you don't see it coming up sometimes is because your USB 2.0 is not there. See, I just plugged this one into the USB 2.0. And if you go in here, you go to the USB. See that? I just plug in the USB hub. That is the one on the right hand side. 
Everything now is USB 3.0. See, even the iPhone that I plug in is there. Okay, that's it. And I have a, uh, if you need if more information, go to the website. Okay, so I have to reboot with the USB uh, hostemily.cat patch and fixed. I can see mine here. Let's look at the IO registry. So look for ESC. So now it's USB connector zero now. Okay, I fix it from 255 to zero. So it's actually doesn't really matter. Either way it will work. 